I'm Afterpay, Zip, Hum, Latitude, Today, Combank, BNPL. And what it lacks in a catchy name, it makes up for in design. The ease and simplicity of having it with your main bank, it's easy for us to keep our customers across the commitments that they've got coming up. Launching mid-year as a digital card in your smartphone wallet, the CBA offering will have a spending cap of $1,000, spread over four fortnightly repayments from a linked CBA account. Plus a late fee of $10 per missed payment, capped at $120 a year. While the spend is half of the $2,000 offered by Afterpay, the Combank product is good news for small business, with a merchant fee less than half the standard 4%. So they don't have to pay anything more to be able to offer a buy now, pay later product to our customers. While it may not be the first to market, Combank is positioning its product as the most responsible, applying mandatory credit checks and internal data to ensure its customers don't spiral into debt. If you're late here, we shouldn't be extending credit to you in another area. With an existing stake in rival platform Klarna, today's move shows Combank wants a bigger piece of the growing pie. As for the other big three, Westpac partnered with Afterpay last year, NAB launched a zero interest credit card, while ANZ is not buying in. If they change their mind, it is likely to be too little too late. Gemma Acton, 7 News.